How do you file a claim in the case of a diving injury or emergency? How do you interact with a hotline? And how do DAN benefits that are under the group policy translate to reimbursement to you? That's what we're going to be discussing in this Get to Know Dan episode. My name is Franz Cronier and I want to invite you again to learn more about Dan. And the easiest way to do that is simply to subscribe to our Dan Southern Africa YouTube channel or the Dan blog to get the latest news so you don't miss anything. Okay, so now let's talk about claims. When people think about claims, we think about a typical insurance situation, be it a medical aid or an insurance for, let's say, a, a break-in. And what usually happens is an assessor comes out, determines what the damage is, and then ultimately you're reimbursed for whatever the damage is. That's how insurance works. But that is not what Dan does, because Dan isn't an insurance. Dan is a membership organization. What does that mean? It means that Dan has a group policy and the benefits of that group policy are extended to you as a member based on the level of your membership, which you choose based on your needs, whether you want to travel overseas, for instance, or long distance and have need for medical cover, etc., etc. But the big thing to realize is that it isn't an insurance. So you don't just send us receipts and invoices and Dan uh, pays you out for them. It is really a partnership of you collaborating with Dan and Dan claiming it from the insurer or the underwriter. And how that process starts is when you call the hotline in the case of a diving injury or emergency. That's what gets the process working. Because from that point onward, we can determine whether you are a valid member, which is critical. We can't extend membership retroactively. In other words, if you weren't a member, then you don't have the benefits of a member. So we establish that you're a member and we establish that you are eligible for the benefits that you need in order to receive the services that are required depending on the situation. It's both that simple and that complicated. Because what divers don't necessarily realize is that this only works if you call the Dan hotline. Now we recognize that there are situations in occasion uh, where a person is a really in a life-threatening situation or it isn't known that the person is a Dan member at the time and we review the case afterwards and based on the merits of the case actually defend the member's interests with the underwriters so as to get the person's claim honored. Those are exceptions though. In usual situations there is time to call the Dan hotline and for all the other things to fall in place. But you have to understand that Dan is the insured. The member isn't insured, Dan is insured. And as a member the insurance that Dan has is extended to you. And that will cover things like aeromedical evacuation if it's justified, hospital admission, specialist examinations, recompression and other chamber treatment for decompression illness. All of those things that are typical needs of divers if they're injured. And that's one of the really great things about Dan is that over 20 years we've been able to hone and identify what the most important benefits for members are. In other words, we were able to tailor make the group policy in such a way that Dan members get the benefits that really matter for them 
based on the claims, based on the accidents and injuries that we've received or come to know about, and thereby being able to put together a membership package of which only one component is the underwriting which is extended to you, and thereby make and keep Dan membership affordable. But it requires that you involve Dan and realize that Dan is your partner in getting your claim processed uh, through or to the underwriters. The motive is that you and Dan work together, you by calling Dan initially and then submitting a claim form and the claim form with Dan's assistance being submitted to the underwriters so that the benefits that are paid out to Dan are then reimbursed to you. That's how it should work. So that's really a key concept. Dan is not an insurance. We're a membership organization. In fact, it would be illegal for us to sell insurance or to serve as a medical aid. The only exception is that for a period of time that people travel overseas, which is for a maximum of 90 days and on certain uh, circumstances or conditions may be extended, that they may be given certain medical benefits as well because they are away from their own country and therefore don't fall under the laws and the specifically the laws related to medical aids of their own country. Under those conditions we are able to extend certain medical benefits but also only for certain levels of DAN membership and this you really need to check because it's pretty much only DAN Master Pro that has that benefit and it's very important to make sure that you are a valid current member of DAN. And that's one of the things, and in fact there are five that I'll cover briefly, that are related to the DAN hotline. First of all, the DAN hotline is invaluable about notifying us about these overseas or remote trips. You can do it via the website, and in the case of an extreme emergency, we may accept a delayed notification because there was no other way to actually contact Dan under those circumstances. But that then activates or makes the group policy benefits available to you. So that is a critical, critical first step. The second thing is that Dan is able to validate that the person is an active member and that the benefits of the group policy through Dan are extended to the member or can be extended to the member. Thirdly, and this is very very important and uh, although medical aids often cover diving under their list of benefits to members of medical aids the problem is that getting authorization for evacuation and recompression is something that just is not understood by med medical aids. In other words, they don't understand the process, they don't understand the disease, they don't understand the urgency, and they don't necessarily understand why a particular form of evacuation is required. So that's why the authorization component is a real time slurper when it comes to medical aids and it's something that the DAN hotline can really really facilitate and cut down on because we know what's going on and we are able to mobilize things far more quickly. Which gets me to the fourth point. The DAN hotline actually mobilizes appropriate emergency medical services, be that an ambulance, aeromedical evacuation in certain cases, recompression, admission to an emergency department or whatever the necessary requirements are to involve a necessary service provider to assist the injured diver. Alongside that, the fifth part is the guarantee of payment. Dan is able to issue a guarantee of payment 
on behalf of the underwriters, which is an exceptional privilege, to actually inform the service provider that they will be reimbursed because it's a valid member, it's a valid claim on the basis of the group policy and therefore we are able within certain limits and restrictions of the membership benefit level to extend the guarantee of payment. And that's really, really a unique facility that Dan offers. There are other things that we could add to this, such as the fact that uh, other organizations that may offer some sort of insurance or some sort of cover that may be relevant to diving is simply not in sync enough with the diving emergency to provide the necessary assistance in those critical moments and at those critical times and junctures where it is needed. Okay. So if we need to run through the process of what happens in the case of a diving injury or emergency, it can be summarized in the following four steps. Step one, if you haven't got that already, is to call Dan. That call to the hotline makes the necessary arrangements available. It validates you as a member it involves the necessary service providers. It gives the necessary guarantees of payment and it determines the best, most approximate, most closest in other words, or most appropriate facility to evaluate or assess the individual who has the injury or had the accident and then identify what services should be provided or could be provided. And in many occasions, we actually collaborate with healthcare professionals in advising them on the best treatment in those cases. So yes, please call us. And our number is plus two seven eight two eight ten sixty ten. I'm going to repeat that. It's plus two seven eight to eight ten sixty ten remember to save this number to your cell phone especially before traveling abroad the second step of the process and we do need this even though it went through the hotline is for you to fill in a claim form your claim form together with the notes that are taken and all the records that were uh, taken down during the injury or the process of the services that were provided by the Dan hotline, all of those are packaged together and presented to the underwriters in order for them to process the claim. So your claim form forms part of the package that Dan submits to the underwriters. Your claim is not sent to Dan for Dan to pay you out. Your claim is submitted to Dan so that Dan can add its documentation and that is then submitted to the underwriter. And so it's a partnership and that's why we really like you to feel differently about the process. And uh, we'd like you to involve Dan even by email. Dan Medic at dancer.org is an excellent way to communicate with us. It's literally D A N Medic, D A N M E D I C, Dan Medic at dancer.org. And through that, you can get a claim form or you can download it simply by going to the link at the bottom of the section. And then step three is to send us the completed claim form. You can send it in online or you can send it in to the email address again, that Dan Medic address I gave you. And with it, all the invoices, receipts, claims, reports, or anything that you may have that Dan maybe didn't get in the process of managing the injury or emergency. 
Ideally, of course, it, it should be scanned because that makes it so easy to transfer it to the underwriters for processing. But there are other ways that we can get around that. You can also submit it online, in fact, together with the claim forms. And again, the links are below. And if you've done that, all that remains is to wait. To wait for the settlement and final reconciliation of the documents from Dan. Dan does all the legwork. We communicate with the underwriters, settle with the service providers, and reconcile payments and reimbursements where necessary. And it's meant to be easy and painless because we want to do that for you. So please just do those two things for us. Call us and send in your claim form. We can then work with you, with the underwriters, to ultimately get reimbursement to you. So please notify us. If you've had a bad experience, and we hope that isn't the case, but if you've had an experience where for some or other reason what I've explained now hasn't worked the way it should have, let us know. Send us an email. We would rather address these things proactively and even though it may have happened to you and the benefit of us having this information now may not necessarily benefit your situation, it would allow us to keep improving the membership services we provide our members. That is so important. Okay, so well for listening to this, we're going to give you a gift, a prepared diver course, which you can download in the link below. And lastly, and yes, I know I say it on all our Get to Know Dan videos, please make sure you get the Dan mobile app. It's on Android and you can also get it on the iPhone platforms and it's the best way to stay connected with Dan. In fact, in many cases, you would be able to communicate more readily over the app than you would over a phone or even by email. And most resorts nowadays have Wi-Fi. So it's a very, very efficient way to communicate with Dan and it's much better than having a scratchy or an unclear telephone line to try and communicate problems or make arrangements over. So remember the, the app and don't forget the hotline, please. Those are the two things that I'd really, really like to drill home. Okay, so I'm sorry if I sounded a little bit like a soapbox today, but this is really the heartbeat of Dan. We want to help divers. And it started off by just being a phone to assist divers. And we realized that we can only do so much over the phone, which is why we ultimately got an underwriter to give us access to a group policy, which then allowed us to do more than listen to your problem over the phone, but actually mobilize, approve, and make services available that might otherwise not be the case. For other information about Dan, you know where to go. The Dan Southern Africa YouTube channel or Dan blog for all the latest news so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for listening and uh, remember to notify us before your next dive trip. Until next time, safe diving.